Hey everyone, I'm Chelsea Tornetto with At Home Author, and today I'm going to share with you the top three mistakes that picture book authors make when they're querying. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates the next time we post a video about how to publish a children's book. So the first mistake that I see lots of picture book authors make is that they don't have enough manuscripts ready to go when they begin querying. Agents are looking to represent authors for their entire career, and agents actually don't make much when they sell an individual picture book. Now this doesn't mean that they're looking for series. In fact, picture book series don't sell well for first time authors. What you need is three to five different manuscripts that the agent thinks could be marketable or could sell in the current market. And that way they know that going forward, they have a lot of different options for stories that they could submit to publishers. Now, this can be confusing because most agents in their submission guidelines will say, send me a single story. But the first thing they're going to do if they like that story is they're going to ask you what else you have to send them. And if you don't have anything else, they're probably going to pass. So it's really good to start off with three to five manuscripts that are polished. They've been through a critique, critique group. They're ready to go. And that way you'll be ready when the agent says, yes, I like this first story. The second biggest mistake that I see authors make, and it breaks my heart because it's an expensive mistake to make, and that is that they hire an illustrator before they query. In the traditional publishing world, they do not want you to send illustrations with a story unless you are a professional illustrator, and I do mean professional, like you do that for a living. If you're not, they don't want to see illustrations. They want you to send them the manuscript only. And so many authors make this mistake of hiring an illustrator for several thousand dollars, and then they come to me and say, okay, so how do I start querying? So I know it's super tempting, and we all want to see our characters brought to life in illustrations. That's the exciting, fun part of writing a picture book, but don't hire an illustrator before you query. And the third big mistake that I see authors make is that they don't read widely in the genre that they're actually writing. If you're going to write picture books, you need to be reading stacks and stacks of picture books. If you're not, then you're probably not going to be familiar with what's popular in the market and what's selling. So it's really important that you read widely in whatever genre you're writing. I have a lot of authors that will send me manuscripts that they think are totally unique and different and have never been done before. And a quick Google search or a quick Amazon search shows that there's actually lots of books out there that are similar. So you don't want to make that mistake. You want to spend lots of time researching both to see if a specific book that you've written has comparable titles out there, but also just read widely because it can inspire new ideas for you and it can also make you aware of what's going to sell well in the current marketplace. So write lots of stories, don't hire an illustrator, and make sure that you're reading tons and tons of picture books and you'll be well prepared to query when the time comes. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos about how to publish your own children's books.